This headline-making, wondrous, and extraordinary event literally swept the world. On September 22, 1995, eyewitnesses in India began reporting accounts of Hindu statues drinking milk. The word spread quickly. Before long, the Delhi and Bombay stock exchanges were closed, so traders could feed the statues. Then, the federal government closed down. Within 72 hours, statues were reportedly consuming milk by the leader in Hindu communities around the world. Millions flocked to temples and shrines in the United States, Hong Kong, Canada, and Indonesia. In London, it was at the Vishwa Temple that the tiny marble statue of Nandi, the cosmic bull, began drinking milk. Tom Leonard, a reporter for London's Evening Standard, was more than just a witness. I held the spoon up. The, a man, an assistant, was holding it slightly for me. Now, he tipped the spoon slightly when it reached the elephant's mouth, but not enough to justify what then happened, was the milk just sucked up completely from the spoon. Now, the second time, I actually asked if I could just hold the spoon myself, and I did, and no one held my hand then, and it still got sucked up. Patricia Miller of Miracles magazine believed this was definitely a miraculous event. It was a bizarre, bizarre story. And it flashed around the world, and then it went in about three days. Everyone I talked to was mystified. This had credibility because it happened in so many places to so many people. People are not believing in God nowadays. There is God. There is the only scientific thing that maybe that's that's why they drink milk. That's the reason. Yeah. That's why they want to prove there is God. Word of the milk drinking miracle spread across India like wildfire. Millions of worshippers queued outside Hindu temples. They were hoping to see statues of the Lord Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, and his son, the elephant headed Garnish, actually drinking milk. Crowds gathered at temples in London and throughout the world. You can test it yourself because it's drinking so quick that when you put another spoon it's going so fast because it's drinking itself. I believe in a miracle. <laughs> I was told this is happening. I don't believe, I don't believe in God, I'm an agnostic. But I had to come because this is something bigger than the atom bomb. Whatever is happening, it is happening, it's amazing. I don't know, maybe it's an international conspiracy. But I, I think I believe in God. I couldn't believe that. I thought I'd see it for myself. I never saw it for myself. It's absolutely amazing.
அப்படியே நான் முடிஞ்சு எடுப்பேன் அப்படி பார்த்துக்க எடுத்துடாது எடுத்துட்டு பாரு பாரு <laughs> 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 in a power greater than all of these the power of the human mind a power that could move objects through space interact with computers control the fall of the dice is this scientific possibility or just a dream enter the fifth dimension and find out if there is such a thing as mind over matter can things be moved just by the power of the mind seeing the table move actually scared the hell out of me it's clear that we were not lifting it with our fingers touching the table top very lightly and this went on for about 3 hours in broad daylight scientists now believe we only use about 7% of our brain capacity so what are the other 93% could there be hidden powers deep in the recesses of our minds imagine a power that could think photographs into existence levitate at will overcome the laws of chance and change the odds of winning at the casino anything is possible it's doing something that science says it shouldn't do like plastic it's going to go now Look. or is there really such a thing as pk psychokinesis the power of the mind to control the physical world scientists everywhere are trying to unlock its secrets